all alpha welcome. Alpha is a very important concept in the hedge fund world. Investors seek alpha desperately. Hedge funds try to show that they are indeed generating alpha and it's not luck or just market returns. The industry is obsessed with it. Look, for example, at the title of the conference. So alpha is actually a mathematical expression and well known in the investment world. It's the excess return that is not explained by the benchmark. In other words, alpha is a result of the skills of the manager or the kind of magic touch if you want. I'm not just playing for myself, I'm playing for all shareholders. So what are the skills? How does that compare to real life hedge funds? To answer, I'm gonna need the help of another expert. This time, Nicholas Rabner from Factor Research. Who has that magic touch at Axe Capital? Taylor, when they spot that a factory that looks busy is in fact a fraud. An article came out on satellite detected discrepancies between Chinese sites and what had been reported by government statistics. And after that, they knew they were being watched, so the truck started moving. And Ben Kim, when he manages to discover a merger before it's announced. I think there's a merger coming, if not an outright purchase. Axel wrote, of course, when he understands that what looks like a merger arbitrage opportunity is in fact... He wrote the story, now he's out, which means you need to be out, in fact, short. So clearly there are skills involved. If you look at each of those, the returns are not linked to the market going up or down. There's alpha. Let's start with Ben Kim. I've been tracking rental car usage in business cities, developing relationships with managers there. He has to build relationships. He has to crunch a lot of data to find the information. Then there's Taylor. They're doing web research. They're looking at satellite data. Find out which satellite company Krakow uses. AR metrics. Assuming Krakow would be the biggest user. From the most viewed images, you deduce that's what he's been looking at. And then Axel Rod. Traders at 1252 when everyone was at lunch, which tells me they wanted it to be missed. He's got access to all the information that's stored in his brain. In all of them, we see there's an informational advantage. They also know what to do with the data or the information, but if they didn't have it in the first place, they couldn't do anything. So once you have that, the decision process is actually clever, but it's also straightforward. Don't go long, go short. If there's Dutch people at the airport, it's gonna be a merger. The trucks are a show for the satellite, short the stocks. So how realistic is it? Let's ask Nicholas. The information asymmetries have largely been arbitraged away. And the reason for that is quite simple because if you think about public equities, it's very difficult for a fund manager at JP Morgan to have a competitive edge over someone at Goldman Sachs. Because they have the same data, the Bloomberg terminal, they have the same access to management and so on. How are they supposed to create our performance? What that means is that what we see in billion is not really what's happening or very, very rarely. Axe Capital is, of course, our favorite hedge fund. It's very special, but there is a Ben Keem and a Taylor Mason at other firms. And in reality, it's not about having a Ben or a Taylor. Their discoveries would mainly be done by data scientists using computers and machine learning algorithms. Because data is becoming better and technology is becoming better. So nowadays it's quite simple. You can go to any you know, data provider, find out does a certain portfolio or a certain fund manager, does he have alpha? Uh, if you think back 20 years, it was a much more difficult exercise. So you can dissect a fund manager's performance very finely and find out is there really something unexplained that fund manager is doing? Or is it simply you know, like, you know, something out of alternative beta space or some sort of market exposure that just wasn't uh, measurable before? Today, it's easier to figure out what drives the performance and to replicate it. And that makes it really hard to really create alpha. And of course, going forward, I think like from an energy perspective, this will become even tougher, right? Because data will continue to improve and technology will continue to improve. So I think the power partially is shifting from the fund managers to the um, allocators. Results and optics. <laughs> My job's to spot a fund manager taking his eye off the ball before he strikes out. As the effect of being empowered by data technology. Oh, we will look at beta welcome. and factors in another episode. And you can also sign up for my course if you want to dig deeper into all those components. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment if you agree, disagree, or if I should analyze another scene.